does emptiness has, have a resonance? Yes. Just as we feel ignorance in people, we feel also the absence of it. Just as we feel fear in people, we also feel the absence of it. Just as we feel neediness in people, we also feel its absence. In fact, The absence of ignorance, when we feel it, is not simply an absence. It takes us to our true nature. So it's not just an absence. When we feel the absence of ignorance in people, we feel our true nature and we experience happiness and peace and call it resonance, if you will. It's just that we are led to that which we have in common with these people. And we want to be with them. Or, or a tree, for that matter. Yes, because, uh, yes, because that's why we want to to take a walk in the forest or in nature. Because the birds, the trees, and the, the bees, and whatever, they don't believe to be separate entities. So as we go in the, into the forest or into nature gradually, because our ignorance doesn't feel, doesn't encounter a, a response, it leaves us. Because it's not a natural thing. It reminds me of the, you know, the, there was this early Christian truth seekers, you know, the, they were called the fathers of the desert, you know, like. Uh, and uh, they lived as hermits in the desert. I mean, I mean the desert, like South California, you know. And uh, why? Because in this solitude, they, their ignorance wasn't triggered. That's why I saw people go uh, into caves, yogins. However, that's not a final solution of the problem. Because if you are happy only when you are in your cave, and you go back to the crowd, and then all of a sudden, you have a reaction. You are not. Com you are just half baked, so to speak. You know, if if your happiness is dependent upon living in a cave or upon sitting on your ass, the moment you stand up, you lose it. It's not. <laughs> it's not a solid acquisition. We have, we, we have this, these mirroring neurons that tell us a lot without words about people we are in, in contact with. And, and that's why we, we I mean, I, I love dogs, cats, squirrels, whatever, right? And that's why we feel good with dogs and, and cats. They don't have this type of problems. They don't think to be a dog. I mean, I can see a very tiny dog thinking she is a big dog, right? <laughs> you see that all the time, right? <laughs> and the big dog 
thinking he is a very tiny cat and afraid of the big cat. You know, so I, see, I saw that too. 